how did you finally deal with with the people that were were mad that you had gotten promoted over them? How did you finally resolve that? You have to have a conversation about it. Okay. Don't don't let it fester unspoken. I said, hey, I remember one particular guy, and you would know who he is. He was up north, and he wasn't mad at me. He was mad that at the chief at the time that he wasn't selected, and but he exuded it constantly. He was just always with a chip on his shoulder. I hear you. I can't if I can do, I can't do anything to help you, but you need to work through this because how you respond to a setback will define you. So right now, it's been two years now, and you're still will speak negatively how you didn't get promoted. You've kind of established your reputation now because you can't get over it. Yeah, there's going to be other opportunities, and there were. And he didn't chose not to go for him. He probably would have got one if you'd done it. That yeah. happened to a couple people, and both of them I know you would know. One guy, I mean, he retired still bitter that he didn't get promoted six years before. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's the strangest thing. And yeah. it's just one of those things where, hey, people are watching. How you handle the setback will define. I've had that conversation with numerous people. Mm. It's not it's not bad to, you know, kick dirt for a couple of days and be disappointed. Okay, let's regroup here and wait for another opportunity. Because yeah. I'm sure three or four of those nine people that applied could have done the job well. I just happen to rise slightly above in their choice with what they're looking for at the time. Yeah. Not that I mean better than them, but, and I never, it's just, it just takes time, but they got over it. Yeah. I mean, it was never against me. They're right. more upset at the, the panel and who made the decision. And yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, but you gotta, it's a tough, and I used to teach uh, new supervisors for the judiciary in the new supervisor program. And that's, was the biggest challenge for new supervisors is, how to manage people that were once your colleagues, which you experienced, I'm sure. But one of those, how to make that transition and where people didn't want you to get promoted and they're angry with you when it's not about you. It's, they apply just like they did. Yeah. But that's the biggest angst issue for new supervisors is how to handle that transition. Right. And a lot of people, you know, they really get wound up in it and it really bothers them and they so just detach. It's their issue to get used to. Yeah. Just support them, communicate, you know, be nice be firm about expectations and everything like that and just roll yeah that's all you can do 